Now we'll see BSP trees, quad trees, and all trees. And uh, data structure for scenes. If you have scenes like images, uh, you know, we have DMs, digital elevation model. So for these uh, scenes, you have data structure like this. And uh, for that, we have scene graphs organized by how the scene is constructed and nodes, they hold the objects in these scene graphs. And we have CSG trees uh, organized by how the scene is constructed again. And the leaves hold 3D primitives and internal nodes hold set of operations. So here we have the nodes, internal nodes that are holding the operations and the leaves which are having 3D primitives. Now, BSP trees, organized by spatial relationships in the scene. This is a partition tree. So they are organized by spatial relationship uh, in the scene and the nodes, they hold facets. Means, for example, in 3D, you have some polygons like triangle and uh, quadrilateral, etc. And quadris and octrees, they are organized spatially. Means nodes represents regions in space. Node represent region and space and leaves actually holds the object. How do we implement scene graphs? Uh, we assume uh, scene graphs as uh, the tree on the left, right? We assume it to be a tree. However, it is often convenient uh, to implement them as shown here. So this is the logical tree we assume and this is the physical tree we actually made. So what is actually uh, lying behind the scene graphs is we implement, that is the implementation of a B tree. B tree. So the child uh, pointers are first logical child and ne next logical sibling. Child pointers, they are first logical child and next logical sibling. And then traversing the logical tree is a simple pre-ordered traversal of the physical tree. Uh, this is how we draw them. CSG trees in this CSG, constructive solid geometry, we construct a scene out of primitive uh, representing solid 3D uh, shapes. You see, these existing objects are combined using some set operation union intersection set difference. So these leaves are actually your primitive 3D shapes and these nodes are actually uh, the set operations. So we represent a scene as a binary tree. This is a binary tree. I hope you are aware of the binary tree. The leaves hold primitive as I just suggested. Internal nodes which always have two children hold set of operations. An order of children does matter because we are strictly talking about the binary tree and this CSG tree uh, they are helpful for things other than uh, rendering. Uh, it's like intersection tests are not very hard like ray tracing in computer graphics. And CSG uh, does not integrate well with this pipeline based rendering. So we are not covering these things right now. BSP trees, which is binary space partition tree, is a very different way to represent a scene. Uh, different, different than what we have just seen. So the nodes holds facets. These facets, I'll just show you. The structure of the tree encodes spatial information about the scene. So we are talking about spatial information that is, uh, you know, location-wise or area-wise information about the scene. And this is useful for SHR and uh, uh, HSR and uh, related applications. The BSP tree is a binary tree. Again, it is a binary tree. Nodes can have either zero, one, or two children. This is what binary tree says. And this order of child node does matter. And if a node has this one child, it matters whether this is a left child or right child. This also matters. Each node holds a facet, and uh, this may be only part of facet from the original scene. So when constructing a BSP tree, we may need to split these facets, which is which uh, these nodes are holding. So if you have this facets like this, you are supposed to, uh, you know, you can split it again. The organization is each face or facet lies in a unique plane, in 2D, a unique line. For each facet, we choose one side of its plane to be the outside, the other direction is inside. And this can be uh, this 
you can use you can use easily normal vectors uh, points towards the rule is for each node its left descendant means the left descendant subtree holds only facets which are inside it and the right descendant subtree hold only facets which are outside it okay this is the rule so what are they good for bsp trees bsp trees they are primarily useful when a back to front or front to back ordering is desired um, these are the two examples and since it can take some time to construct a bsp tree uh, they are used they are primarily useful for static scenes and some dynamic objects they are acceptable so bsp tree techniques are generally a waste of effort for small scene if you have a large scene or a complex scene you can go for it now coming to core trees in oak trees what is the background the idea of the binary space partition bsp is one with good general application or applicability some variation of it is used in number of different data structures or structures uh, bsp what it does uh, split along planes containing facets and core trees and oak trees which are which we are going to see next is split along predefined planes let us have planes which are predefined don't go with the facets and divide it kd trees we are not going to cover this but let me let us uh, introduce it in kd tree split we split along plane parallel to coordinate axis so as to split up the objects nicely clean so core tree trees is core means 4 or means 8 core tree are used to partition 2d space and uh, oak trees are used to partition this 3d space so in general core tree and oak tree core tree is a tree in which each node has at most four children as in binary tree you have at most two children which you can have 0 1 or 2 In core tree, you can have at most four children, means zero, one, two, three, and uh, of course four. So similarly, a binary tree is a tree uh, in which uh, each node has at most two children, right? So in practice, however, uh, we use this core tree and oak tree to mean something more specific as we are dealing with practical application. So each node of the tree correspond to a square, that is core tree or cubical region, that is oak tree. So let us uh, first uh, concentrate on our core tree. So each node of the tree corresponds to a square. If a node has, if this node has children, think uh, of its region being chopped into four core tree or eight if, in case of oak tree. The child nodes correspond to these smaller subregions of their parent region. For the region which are coming out after this partition, this these are the region. For them, for this, for partitioning this, this will be the original region, and this will be the other. These will be the child region. And child nodes correspond to the smaller subregions of their parent region, and we subdivide as little or as more much as necessary. So this uh, internal, uh, each internal node in this has exactly four children. Core trees or oak trees, the root node. Of a core tree correspond to a square region in space. This is how it is shown in pink color A. Generally, this encompasses the entire region of interest. So, if you have an image or a DM digital elevation model, you can just take it. This is the total region of interest. If uh, desired, sub we subdivide along lines parallel to the coordinate axis, uh, forming four smaller, uh, identically sized square regions, and these. Uh, these child nodes correspond like this so we subdivide it this is a tree structure this is a logical structure i will how i divide it and uh, you know some or all of these uh, children may be subdivided together again division again division it is possible oak trees they work in similar fashion but you just assume that this is going this is happening in a 3d region Now we have divided it. We have seen that how core tree looks, but what are they good for? Means how where we can apply them? We can have them in handling observer object interactions. 
means we subdivide the quad tree oak tree until each leaf region intersects only the smaller number of objects or small number number of objects so if leaf holds a list of pointers of objects that intersects its region so we need we can also find out which leaf the observer is in and we only need to test for interaction with objects which are pointed by that leaf okay so uh, we can also see inside outside test for odd shapes so the root node represent a square containing the shape the nodes region lies inside or entirely outside the shape we do not subdivide it otherwise we do subdivide it then the quad tree or oct contains information allowing us to check quickly whether a given point is inside a shape or not also sparse arrays of uh, of specially organized data means we can store array data in quad tree or oct tree and we only subdivide if that region of space contains intersecting data this is how an oct tree is used in, uh, in this particular program thank you so much uh, this was a basic idea about uh, uh, bsp and uh, quadri and octree